Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to a Hexit episode. Now, we have had some pretty bad luck on the Hexit front uh, recently. I just dropped my sword into the water, uh, and there is ice one layer below here. You'll see it on the map. Uh, how do I show you guys the map? There we go. This is underwater ice, this stuff here, and then the out-of-water ice is a lot easier to see on the map. Anyway, and I just dropped the, the sword onto there and thought it was lost and it was a bit darker so I couldn't see it and then I had to get out my little coin thing that picks it up. But anyway, that isn't even the worst luck. I was recording survival games uh, after finishing recording a... well, Hunger Games. After finishing recording a wonderful hexit for you guys where we built these and learned how they worked and then... I rendered it up and it was ready to upload for today, as you will be seeing this. This is made on the same day. Uh, yeah, and I accidentally deleted it during the process of getting a nice gameplay for you guys of Hunger Games. And yeah, that was disappointing. So this is my second attempt at episode 26, I believe. Or 25, no, 26, I think. Anyway, this is how we make blood crucibles, which are over here. And we are going to be making the blood weave cloth armor. Which is way better, apparently, than the uh, soul armor, soul weave. Let's ha let's have a look see. So let's go soul. And there's I want to make that, but you can only you guys remember I f fought like ghast grim reaper looking things. They dropped them, so I may actually have one, and I don't know. But there's the soul weave armor here, and you can dye it. That's the dyed version, and it doesn't look as cool. I did look it up, and then there's the blood armor, which is here. And what happens is when you're equipping that armor and you drink a dose of blood keep, uh, blood, I suppose, stored blood, it, uh, increases your strength and speed and it makes you really strong. And if you keep drinking it, it increases the length of that because it only lasts 30 seconds and then if you drink another dose it lasts 40 seconds. But if you didn't notice, we killed our, uh, chocobos and used their blood in these because you put the blood in these. And it it's kind of works like a bookshelf with enchanting and then you put wool in there and you can get a See, it requires 10 blood now We do need we have about the right amount of wool So we need 200 blood and what I want to do is I wanted to put cows in here and um, oh, let's kill these ones The ones that I've tamed you can't actually get blood from oh no, that's flappy bird silly me I flappy birds been sinking recently and it was sinking in the previous episode that I made that you guys didn't see which really bums me out I feel like I just re re-elaborate on that but yeah we're going to be, be making the blood one and I thought the coolest way to get blood would be to make a mob spawner out of one of the battle towers but that one has been fairly broken down I need to find a new one and I need to concentrate on not breaking it down so we'll go take flappy bird for a spin and we'll go land on the top of this one and see how many mob spawners are in here because there was only like three in there uh but yeah I had a heap of things I spoke about and I've totally forgot all of them and it it's actually quite upsetting. Uh, I just, I felt stupid, you know? I, it was a stupid little mistake that, and I cleared my recycle bin for the people that think, uh, yeah, I just, as soon as I have stuff in my recycle bin, because fraps files are about a gig a minute, your recycle bin gets pretty big, so I do clear them straight away. Uh, maybe over here, this one. Oh, this one's also quite close to our area. I really wanted one that's really close. But most of these ones have actually broken all of the, like, XP things. Well, not XP things. What are they called? Uh, the spawners. So we have one there. I don't really want spiders. I'd prefer to have a large amount of, like, skeletons. I want to go here. Let me get my little marker. Oh, wow. Didn't know what I was doing last there. Maybe you guys remember. Uh, there we go. Oh, I positioned that quite nice. All right. Now we're going to find a battle tower. And we're going to get the spawners and make them drop all of the zombies and mobs into one area. And I'm going to be able to go crazy with like, I think this is called a glaive. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think so. Uh, but yeah, and we're going to be able to make a, a blood grinder basically. And then we'll be able to make this armor. And what I wanted from you guys in the previous episode was to comment what armor and swords the best combination to put out the most damage with a sword. Like I, I would... It would be cool to hit 100, but I don't think that's possible. But at the moment, I think I hit like 15s with this. And I want to know, can I hit higher? Uh, is there an armor that adds to strength as well as gives me a strength effect, which gives me other stuff? And where's this other one? Let's see if we've broken down this one. I'd prefer to do one of these ones because it'd be easier to make. 
but it appears that I've broken all of the spawners. So I'm going to come back when I find one, and if you enjoy the idea of me remaking this video because I, l I jinxed myself, I jipped myself, I owned myself, please hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated. Okay guys, so I have found a battle tower that hasn't been ruined yet as it was in unloaded area. Oh, oh, I remembered one thing I dis did discuss in the previous uh, failed video. Uh, you guys wanted a world download. Well, some of you, not all of you, obviously. Uh, and I can't... Oh, oh, still down. Oh, no, did I hit my chocobo? Where'd my sword go? Where'd my sword... Did I just break my sword? Oh, no, I threw it. Or may maybe the um, monster made me drop it, because some of them do do that. Uh, let's put down a heap of torches and... I need to heal my chocobo, I don't want him to- Oh, he's alright. He's. Let's see if we can put him on the water though, because I'd prefer to leave him out here. But he doesn't seem to really like that. There is he- See, look, he just sinks! You're meant to be able to float, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Are we good? Now, I right-click off. No! Alright, alright. I need to make him a platform. Here, we'll go park him up on here. I, I speak of him like he's a car, Mr. Flappy Bird. Oh, I like that. That's like his little nesting area. He's a bit into it, but whatever. Alright, now we need to get to the top, kill the boss monster guy. Uh, the ba battle towered boss? I don't, I don't even actually know its real name. And then when the tower explodes, we'll see what we have left from there. Uh, like, if there's a spider spawner there, I'm not going to use the spider spawner. I'll break it, but look, we got a zombie and a skeleton there, so that's a heap of experience. Uh, not experience. Oh, we got a spider there. Let's just... We'll break the spider ones. I really just don't want to have to deal with spiders at all. Um, they make things a lot harder. Especially these little ones that will fit with the other mobs. Oh my god. Oh no, there's two spiders here. Alright, well we still have three spawners. We'll see what we can do. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, get off me! Let's get that one. And let's continue our way up. Whoa. Oh. I need to get out a my bow. Oh, I thought I switched the button to sort my inventory because it was annoying me. There we go. We got two zombies. That's a good good one there. Uh, what do we have here? We have a spider and a zombie. It appears to be a zombie above us, which is awesome. What up? Zombie and a spider. Oh, no, I'm not a fan of that. There we go. Hello, my friend. And what we'll do is we'll get we'll find a position where best for us to stand. And to activate the most spawners, and then they'll get carted off uh, away from the area so that I can uh, uh, spawn unlimited. Alright, and he's there. Let's get him. Battle Tower Gollum, that's his name. Oh, hello, my friend. Ooh, I haven't fought him up here before. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> um, you're annoying me, Mr. Skeleton. Alright, we got him, guys. And there we go. Whoa! Oh, wow, that was cool. And he's dead, so we'll see what gets left over. I have just collected so much random junk. Alright, I have to get out of here before I take some damage. But this is good. This is a good one. I'm pretty happy with it. I just don't know whereabouts will stand. Uh, we'll see how much of it blows up first. Uh, so I will do that, and I think I'm going to go to that boat over there and collect some wood and wool to make it daytime. Okay, guys, so some horrible news. I accidentally shot our flappy bird. Uh, yeah, he. I put him on the ground, like, here, and the pirates are over here, and I was standing here, and I don't know, I feel like with Hexit, when you shoot a bow, it doesn't come out of the bow, it com comes out of kind of behind you, and oh, that, was a, that was a cool spread. Uh, and yeah, I hit our little flappy bird, so we don't have a gold chocobo anymore, but we do have, um, like, the stuff to get another one, so that's alright. Now, what's the best way to funnel these the quickest? Now, because they, they do spawn, if we, like, open this up, we actually can make it spawn more efficiently. Oh, alright, so to do the pathway, the best, oh my, oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, the best pathway would be to do, would be the right under, like, the spawners. And then we can kind of just have it as a really, really big area. And then we do it here. And go all the way across. We might even need to bring out this wall a bit more, which is cool. Uh, but let's see how many spawners we have. We have the skeleton there. Uh, we have a zombie and a skeleton on this level, which is three spawners already. We have a lot more here. You know, I really feel like I'm overcomplicating this idea. I feel like I could just kind of stand here and camp them and then go back and forth between the base and this area. Because if I get my f 
fr frostite? Fre freezeite? I don't know. Uh, leggings and the booties of, like, speed, I'll be able to run back and forth from here to our area quite quickly. And then all we need to do is maybe just make them fall straight down and have it funnel so I can hit their legs. That, that seems like probably the quickest way to do it. So let's do that. Let's give that a shot. I'm a bit worried about them taking fall damage. Oh, I can have water. All right, I've, I've sort of got this. I've got this really good, guys. Um, three out. Is it... Wait, one, two, three, and that's four. And then we need to go four out from here. So they can actually spawn quite far out. Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, no. This is going to take quite a bit of time, which is unfun. So I think we can... Um, I, I want to make some of the wool to show you guys like how it works and what it does. I want to make one bit of the armor, but I think you need the full set to get the biggest effect. So we are going to have to do this, but we need to go get some materials and a way to get around quicker because there is quite a bit of distance still between these two areas. But if we just run there, we can... A to B is pretty fast with uh, the setup I was speaking about. So I'm going to make a boat, go back to our base... Uh, get some supplies and then begin building them. Okay guys, so I have simplified the design as some of these mobs actually are special mobs which explode and I feel like if we go and make a nice complex one, it's just the effort will probably get exploded. And then we're only really making this blood armor and then we should be good. We might do a few enchantments occasionally because like I've picked up level 37 just from killing some of the mobs. Uh, but yeah, let's get some water. I need a nice way out of here. Let's do that, and then the water is at this height, so we could do that. Grab some water, and I don't know quite the best... Oh, I don't know why I put them at the bottom there. Don't really know the best location for water. Would here be good? Uh, there seems alright, to be honest. Let's... Yeah, seems alright there. And... Uh, it does push them in the corner. We'll see what, if we put a water source in the corner here. It should push them, because we're going for a central location. Because in that location is where we want the blood to land. Um, but now there's just too much water in here. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look, see? Let's just keep playing around with it. It is becoming nighttime, but we'll just fix that by sleeping, because I do have a bed on me. Uh, why are you stuck there? I definitely think I need to put... Yeah, these water sources are not working, guys. Oh, no. And now I'm getting all the mobs. I hate skeletons so much now. They're just so... Like, you used to be able to dodge them. And that was fun because they they were a challenge, but you could just out-dodge them. Now their aiming's too precise. I feel like a big whinge. But, you know, it's just Minecraft updates. It's probably one that I haven't liked as much is the skeleton updates. Where's the water source at? My, oh my god, I'm just putting blocks there then. There we go. And look, another skeleton like... <laughs> I'm a skeleton. Alright, um... Oh, we could do the water pushing on them this way. I think that would possibly be the best way, actually. Let's see how that goes. Get off me. I will dominate you. <laughs> oh, that's almost perfect, guys. Um, Maybe put one in the middle. I'm. De Is it worth in the middle? It's an odd number, so one in the middle wouldn't really work. But that actually seems alright. So, if they're there, and I make a little area for me to stand here, and to be able to hit them in the legs, which isn't going to work because of this. There we go. And let me just get over here and do the same. Oh my god, I hate skeletons. There we go. And yeah, if I stood somewhere in here, and just shot at the, uh, hit at their legs with the glaive or glaive or whatever it is, uh, that would work pretty good. Look at them. Look how trolly skeletons are. Go away. I don't like you anymore. You're not my favorite monster. Alright, um, let me see. We'll fill in here. We will fill in here. We will do it here as well. And I just don't really like the water either. I don't like water and skeletons together at the same time. Alright, now, I think if I lower myself down, I'll be a bit safer, but from this point, you can see we can just uh, hit them in the legs and collect the blood. If they... Do they not have blood? Don't lie. Maybe skeletons don't have blood, so we could break the skeleton spawner, but zombies better. 
Um, now we just need to make a way in and out of here, which is going to be annoying and frustrating because once again, water comes into it and out we pop. Excellent. There we go. Let's just do that and that. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I get where these came from. The See, that's how I shot the chocobo before, guys. I just hit a mob that I wasn't even aiming for. Alright, we got this. But yeah, the um, night time really isn't showing efficiency with the mob spawner. But I think that will do unless zombies don't drop it. Which I'm a bit worried about now because I feel like we've wasted a whole bit of time. And I'm going to have to go back to my original idea that I don't know if I told you guys in the failed episode or the real episode, but it was to use cows. Look at these skeletons! They're monsters! Well, they are, but you guys get what I mean. Alright, um... Oh, wow, I'm just covered in arrows more and more. Oh, what? No, that's what I wanted to do. There we go, and... Oh, whoa! Oh, that was weird. And there we go, we can walk right in here, and we're safe. We're safe right here. Now, I don't know how I'm meant to sleep. I think I'll sleep at the top layer, and then they won't be able to get me. Do I still have my bed? I better have a bed on me. Uh, there we go. And we'll just have a power nap in the bed right here. There's monsters nearby. Yeah, but they're all the way down there. Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Skeletons are so horrible. Boom, you're gone, friend. Wow. Oh, he did so much damage on me because I'm wearing these boots. These The scale armor is really good. I do like it. Uh, Alright, we should be able to sleep now. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, let's see if zombies drop uh, the correct thing. Or else there was no point to us making this, which is disappointing. There we go. And we need to go to the second layer. Oh, I got some more booties. That's helpful. Well, that's weird. I got two of the exact same booties too. There we go. Oh my god. What is shooting me? I didn't even... I can't even see what's shooting me. Alright, excellent. Uh, I know there's a torch there, but I can't really remember how I even got that torch there. So, there we go. And... No, I'm getting sick of you skeletons. There we go. And I just... I need to get a... I need to hit a zombie! Wait, my friends. Wait, my skeleton friends. Why are all of these out here? Because they're spawning in the bigger area. Alright, let's... Uh, See how that went. Did I just block in the area I came out of? Um, oh my god, the inventory is so full too, which is making it hard to deal with. Uh, let's see what we can do right here. Let's block this area off. Like so. Dig down a bit. Block this area off, which isn't blocked off, which is annoying. Wow. There we go. Alright, I have got this, and it's going to be blocked, and we're going to be able to test it properly, and then and then next episode, we're going to have our blood weave armor. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yes! The zombies drop blood. That's excellent. So, look, we do this. Oh, so much blood, guys. That is exactly what we wanted. So, we'll get rid of the skeleton spawners, which is going to make our life so much easier. Like, look at all this. The blood looks cool from this angle. Like, you can tell it's a bit 3D. Uh, let me go and get my bow out. But yeah, I'm going to do this and camp the zombies and fill up all my blood vessel things and then... I forget what their real name is, but I don't have one in my inventory. But this is zombie right here. It's like regen. There we go, regen. Alright, I just gotta shoot him a bit faster. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was quite the battle to get this one done. And I did lose that previous one. So if uh, you want to, leave an extra like. Thank you very much. Ooh! We have a... Um, Another hexical essence over there. Let's, let's just grab that. Boop! Bring, bring it to me! Did I get it? I haven't... Wait! Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Alright. Um, I don't have the space to pick up all this stuff. Which, maybe it picks up in an order? I have no clue. Did I get it? Alright, I haven't got it, but I will get it. And thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye!